Hello and welcome to another Papercraft Society box reveal. Today we are looking at box number 26 and I'm particularly excited about this box because I've designed the contents myself and this is under the brand of textures. So we have got a theme running through here that is wintry as you may be able to see on the blue and the silver um, but also I have bought back a craft that I have adored for years I've not done much of lately actually and I'd like to reintroduce it to you whether you used to do it or maybe you've never tried it before and that's quilling there are some absolutely amazing pieces of art that have been done with quilling both intricate and simple so I've got lots of instruction in here on how to create your own quilled projects um, but not just in beautiful box frames of course we're looking at card making and we're looking at home decor as well there's lots of other elements in the kit so you don't have to do the quilling for every project and of course there's always a project booklet to give you lots of guidance and step-by-step -step instructions now the first thing we're going to do is have a look at a few of the projects that you can be making following that project booklet so if you'd like to keep the project a surprise skip forward just a minute or two until we get to the contents of the box so as you can see we've got a bit of a colour theme running through here but I will bring in some brighter colours in a moment as well that you can be creating using your kit. Um, so we've got a real range of projects. Of course my favourite was this project and I have created step by step instructions for complete beginners on how to create this entire frame. We've got some of the pattern papers in there, we've got the quilling strips, we've even got a die cut font there as well. All of these beautiful swirls and shapes I'm going to show you how to create each and every one of those so if you're a complete beginner to quilling you're going to find everything you need in this kit so you can be creating this we've also got some other 3d projects such as your Christmas decorations here so that's been created using not only the quilling elements but also some texture paste some glitter we'll see more of that later home decor pieces like this coaster that's got quilled elements deep inside like a resin type material you've probably actually got everything you need besides the quilling strips at home so have a look at that project booklet because you might be surprised at how you can make that and then we've got this beautiful little mini album or notebooklet um, so this is all used all made using elements from the kit but then let's come to the cards. So we have gorgeous cards like this. We've got the sentiment stamp on the front. We've got some smaller quill details. So you don't have to go uh, with hours and hours and hours of quilling work to use quilling on your projects. And this card is a perfect example, just giving you some small embellishments there. We've also got a gorgeous snowflake and we've got some beautiful backing papers in there. In fact, that backing paper I can also see on this gorgeous card and we do have stamps as well as you can see everything here is using this kit again isn't that an absolutely beautiful and dimensional card that would be really easy to batch make actually and then there's this one as well again with those stamped elements in the background and a beautiful backing paper and that matches the box there and then what about monochrome? I think monochrome works really well. So we've got this layered card here with stamping and die cutting and with glitter as well. So we'll see all of those elements in the kit. Lastly, what I want to bring in is a bit of colour because we've got quilling strips in here, as you may have guessed, um, but not just in the blues and the purples. We've actually got different colours. But if quilling isn't your thing, we've actually got projects using the quilling strips, showing you different ways of using them along with the contents of the box. So if you are already a subscriber, you're going to be able to make these and other cards without quilling as well. So I think it's time now to delve in and see what the contents of this box actually are. So inside the box here, the first is always a quote from the designer, and that's myself this time. Um, Crafting makes cold winter days feel much warmer. Isn't that true? Uh, so a little bit of inspiration there for you. Don't forget, of course, the boxes are fantastic for upcycling if you choose not to keep everything inside your box. I've actually made a distress ink pad holder with my sort of little shelves because they're a really nice uh, width and depth for that. 
But moving on, let's have a look at this. So we have got Papercraft Society, box 26 textures. This is the wallet that houses things like your stamps, your dies, and some of your papers. So it folds out three way. There's something very special about a handcrafted gift. That's true, and you can absolutely be handcrafting many gifts with this kit. Snowflakes are one of nature's most beautiful creations. They are, aren't they? And did you know every snowflake is individual? That absolutely blows me away. They are so stunning, but you can't imagine that they're all so different. And it's amazing what can be created with just a little paper and imagination. Very true. Um, so let's take a look first of all. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to come to the back here and look first at the stencils. So we've seen some of these snowflakes already on some of the projects that we just looked at. We've also got this really delicate snow flurry. Now you'll see in a moment when we delve into the tissue paper um, what you can be using this with. But if you've got your inks and things at home, you can of course be using those with that too. So you've got a gorgeous swirl there also. And that's actually a really good quality stencil. Now we've got a die set here. Now textures is all about your fonts and your words. So the die set is a little bit different this month. So the die set, if I just bring in, usually that's white on the back, there we go. So we've got some um, letters here. So we've got winter with an S on the end. So you can actually spell out things with the B and the H. You can spell winter wishes, but of course you can also mix and match your own words with those letters also. And they're a really nice size font because they're about an inch high and a nice readable font as well. And then in addition, we've got this panel here. This is four banners that cut at once. Now this works absolutely perfectly with some stamped sentiments that we've got. So these stamped sentiments, you can stamp those and they all come on one stamp plate for you. So one piece of stamp there. So stamp them all together and then cut them all out together. And what they've also given you on the stamp, which is really clever, I didn't think about this when I designed it, they've given you some marks so you can perfectly line up your die. So when you stamp these, you'll stamp these sort of hexagons as well on the end. And then if you can see here, the gaps in the dies, I don't know if you can just see those, we have the hexagons there. So you'll line up your die absolutely perfectly over your stamp and immediately cut out four different sentiments. We've got walking in a winter wonderland, warmest birthday wishes, make a wish and winter greetings. Now in addition to this, if you wanted to switch up your banners and change the style of the ends of them, we've also got here some different ends for you to add on to. So you can make them into more of like a flag shape if you wanted to with the dies. Now I'm going to come back to those stamps since we've already touched on those and have a look at what else we've got in here. So we've got that gorgeous word winter with the swirls around and we did see that um, heat embossed in white onto a card. And then we've got this beautiful circle. Now the lines on here, once you stamp them, the same with the snowflake um, and of course the swirls, the swirly corners, you can use those just on their own as stamped images or you can use them to follow as guides for your quilling. So this can be a complete guide for you if you want to. We've got a flurry of snowflakes there as well and additional we've got a smaller snowflake here that might be a little bit small for your quilling elements but you can give that look if you want to instead. So they're your clear stamps. Then we've got here our papers. Now our papers are just very much winter themed and I adore this, first of all, this brickwork one with the trees, wintry tree scene inside. So we've got two of those. They're all single sided, so you don't have to worry about which side you're going to use and which is your favorite. We've got that beautiful frosted look, the sort of the, the sharp frost or Jack Frost that's just hit overnight. We've got that look there in the blue. Then we've got, again, the snowy bricks. This is like a cobbled wall that you'd see on the side of the road somewhere really rural and it's had a snow flurry on it. It's just absolutely beautiful and a nice neutral colour for you to put any colour you like on top. And then we've also got, and this is one of my favourites, that beautiful kind of 
um, knitted jumper effect there it looks so realistic it's just like a photo isn't it now these are completely matte they are not a glossy paper so you can stamp on them if you want to of course you can die cut them and you can also um, heat emboss onto them if you want to you can do all of those different techniques of course run them through your embossing folders uh, but they've already got so much texture in them already so they are your contents of your wallet there let's now have a look inside the tissue paper now you may have noticed those of you um, who are very quick at looking we've got our snowflake template in the base of our box because these boxes are a really sturdy cardstock you can use those as templates to cut out and create more home decor or 3D elements if you wanted to, or just use them to trace around. That's your choice. You can use them to put some quilling shapes on. It's entirely up to you, but they're just there as an additional extra. Right, so let's take everything out from in here and remove the tissue. Now, I love to keep the tissue paper because there's so much that I can use that with later on. Now, first of all, we have got some grey board here. So let's open this up and just have a look. We've got two sheets. In fact, you can see that through there. You've got two sheets with the snowflake in, and we saw that in. I'm just going to bring in one of the projects from the book, but not too many. One of the uh, snowflakes, they're decorated with uh, some texture paste, with some glitter, and with some quilled elements to hang on the tree. That's beautiful. So that's using the chipboard there and then of course once you take that out you've got the negative left and you've got two of those then you've also got two of the circles as well and we've made things like mini albums with it or you can make a coaster that's your choice but that's a really good thick it's around about um i think it's about five millimeter thick gray board there then I have mentioned it a few times already. We've got the texture paste, which I absolutely love. If you're not sure what texture paste is, it's a little bit like a white paint, but it's thicker, so it's going to hold its shape. So for using with those stencils that we saw earlier, it's going to be absolutely perfect. So we're going a little bit mixed media with this if you want to. Then we've got a super fine iridescent glitter. It's absolutely beautiful. So the overall color is white, but you've got so many other colors and shimmer running through that too. So that's that pot there. You get quite a lot in there because it goes a long way. Now we come to our quilling. So we've got here our um, quilling strips. Now, as I said to you, many of the projects in the book that are created using the purples and the blues, some of the darker colors there, um, but there are also all the other colors of the rainbow included in these strips. You're getting a lot there. So you're going to be able to create many, many different projects, not just winter themed with those. Then we've got the quilling tool here as well. Now, again, if you're unsure about how to use the quilling tool or the template that comes, this is a particular quilling template that comes in the box. These are all explained within the project booklet, which I have just under here. So in here we've got, I'll just go to the first few pages for you. So let's skip through to here, okay quilling basics for those of you who haven't done it before you've got everything you need there to be able to work out how to use the quilling tool how to use the uh, template there as well and how to create different shapes and then the first project there again if I just skip forward you can see we've got step-by-step -step instructions again and that same theme runs through the entire booklet there lots and lots of different projects for you lots and lots of different step-by-step -step instructions as you can see there so you're not left on your own with any of these and there I talked to you about that frame at the beginning showing you how to do this the only additional thing I feel you need to add to this to be able to do quilling is some wet glue which we should all have as crafters at home so they're your tools and lastly we haven't looked at the coordinating cardstock so this is a really good quality thick cardstock again in all of those beautiful colors that perfectly match everything else that we've got in the kit so we've got the pale blue there we've got the darker blue and we've got our greys as well so like a really dark charcoal gray and then we've got the much lighter gray as well so that's everything that's in your box and I love that we've got not only a new uh, a new skill for you to learn and just try out with the quilling and um, we're bringing that back into crafting fashion but we've also got some of your basic tools like dies and stamps and of course cardstock and pattern papers 
is. So with everything included in here, whatever type and style of crafter you are, you're going to have so much fun with this box. So that's everything that's inside the Paper Craft Society box number 26. So if you'd love to subscribe to this, you can do that from today, the 21st of September 2021, until the 20th of October this year. So you have a month to subscribe and this will be the first box that you will receive. And if you do subscribe, you do have the option of getting this from as little as £18.74, pence, depending on which subscription offer you choose, of course. You can check out all the details at www www.papercraftsociety.co.uk and I'd love to see what you make with this particular box.